Western world, Britain, you know, America, you owe this book, that incalculable, you can't calculate it. Not a shock. Yet the King James Version has grave defects. Yet the King James Version has grave defects and that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. There are so many and so serious as to call for revision, so they revised it. So they revised it. They took out from this book the ascension of Jesus. In the four Gospels, the only two places the ascension is mentioned. Mark chapter 16, the ending verse, verse 19, and Luke chapter 24, verse 51, that Jesus went up into heaven, and Jesus was taken up into heaven. Only two places in the four Gospels. In this revised standard version, they threw it out as a fabrication. They put it in a footnote. Footnote is not the word of God, it's not the Bible. The Bible is the Bible. The footnote is the editor's notes. Am I right? Footnote is not the word of God. Any footnote, any notes that people make there is not the word of God. The word of God is what is there in the main text. So they took it out as a fabrication and they threw it away. But they don't miss out. Matthew says, and Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Mark says, and Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. <laughs> Luke says, and Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. John says, and Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Nobody miss seeing Jesus riding a donkey into Jerusalem, which every Tom, Dick and Harry among the Jews was riding donkeys into Jerusalem. That they saw. All four. But not one of them had to say that Jesus was taken up into heaven out of the four Gospels. Yes. Not one. They said, this is a later edition. People have added this. Because your book the King James Version, is dependent upon the, the ancient manuscripts, which are three to six hundred years after Jesus, or four to six hundred years after Jesus, the King James Version. <coughs> now they have found manuscripts more ancient. This is now dependent upon the most ancient, which is from two to three hundred years after Jesus. So nearer to the source, the more authentic anything can be, nearer to the source. If in the time of Jesus the things were written, it will be more authentic than a thing written hundred years later. Because we have a tendency to add. So, they said, no, in the most ancient manuscript these verses were not there. These were later editions. So, to be honest, they took them out and threw them out as fabrications. That was 1952. But by then, Bible thumpers and evangelists, this is known, man. You know, this is the kingpin of our faith. You know, a uh, sales point. It's a great sales point. And Christ was taken up into heaven. And Jesus was taken up into heaven. And it's not here. So they protested. He says, now look man, if you don't put that back, we won't buy the Bible. We'll tell people, don't buy this Bible. Reverse television, don't buy that. It's no good. And they'll do sales. So, 1971, same Bible, same company, same printers, 1952, is thrown out as a publication. 1971, they put it back. Those verses are thrown out here, as in Vienna. But they give you an explanation why they did this. They tell you. Where? In the preface. <coughs> and who reads the preface? Hardly. Hardly anybody. You know? And only the priests and the scholars will read, but they are not the people to tell the congregation what they read in the preface. In the preface they say, individuals and two church denominations out of the fifty. Out of the fifty two church denominations, they made recommendations that these was be put back, so they put them back. They are back again. Back again. What was thrown out is not put back. So you are not listening to God. If God told you take it out and you took it out, I can understand. If God told you put it back and you put it back, I can understand. But you now, you're depending upon individuals, vested interests, Bible thumpers, hot gospelers, evangelists, tell you evangelists. What they tell you you do. Is this how you produce the word of God? Is this how God, the word of God is produced? No. So in other words, this is the handy work of man. It's carrying on for the past 2,000 years. And even today, this minute, 
this King James Version of yours might be the fifth major revision. This one that you are holding there. Do you know that it has already gone through five major revisions? This is what I have, was presented to me by a Christian evangelist. He presented this to me. Nice and valuable. Yeah. Book, I didn't bring it along. But nice and thick, big types and all that. And I read the preface there. He said, this is the fifth major revision. Major, not minor. So, and still you call it the King James Version. It's the fifth major revision. You still call it the King James. You have no right to change somebody's will and you say, still your father's will. If you add one word or delete one word, it's normal. It's nullified in any part of law. In any country. You add anything or delete anything from the will, which the testator himself hasn't done, that will will be thrown out as a fabrication. Yeah. Fifth major revision, and still you call it the King James Version. They are doing this again, still to this. That's a continuous playing with this book. Continuous. And you know, I can give minute by minute. Minute by minute they are changing. However, the fact is, that that book is not the Word of God, as you said, per se. But the Word of God is there, the Word of the Prophet is there, the Word of the Historian is there, and many things besides which I said, no decent man can read it to his mother, or sister, or daughter, or to an, even to his fiancée if she is a good lady. That's the book, what you're holding there now. You can't read it to your mother, you can't read it to your sister, and you can't read it to your daughter from one end to the other. You believe me, sir? I believe I can read this book to anybody. Right! I want you to read. Open. Open the Genesis chapter 19, verse 30 and read. Chapter 19, verse 30. Now you can open the Bible. Chapter 19, verse 30. You too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <Yeah. laughs> chapter 19, verse 30. Verse 30. That's right. And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zoar, and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Right. Carry on. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. Come. Let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in, and lay with her father. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also. And go thou in and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also. And the younger arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Thus, for both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. Right. Sit down. The firstborn uh -huh. bear a son. Uh -huh. right. <laughs> and call his name Moab. Uh -huh. right. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. Right. And the younger, she also bear a son, and called his name ben -Ami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day. Right. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful reading. Now, your young sister, 12 year old, she's reading that. Collected the seed of the father. She wants to know what seed. Imagine, the young child wants to know what seed. What seed? And she's going to come and ask you, ask her father, ask your daddy. Is it daddy? What seed is this girl wanting to collect? No, no, no. She was going to go to an older girl at school. And says, now, tell me, tell me, this is the collecting the father's seed. What kind of seed do fathers carry? So the older girl will explain. He says, you know, it's like this, like that. So why don't they do things, things like that? He says, no, 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 it's very pleasurable. You know, that, 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 
ejaculation that takes place.